the insect, by Ivan Turgenev. I dreamed that we were sitting, a party of twenty, in a big room with open windows. Among us were women, children, and old men. We were all talking of some very well-known subject, talking noisily and indistinctly. Suddenly, with a sharp, whirring sound, we flew into the room a big insect, two inches long. It flew in, circled round, and settled on the wall. It was like a fly or a wasp, its body dirty colored, of the same color to its flat, stiff wings, outspread feathered claws, and had thick and angular like a dragon's flies. Both head and claws were bright red, as though steeped in blood. The strange insect incessantly turned its head up and down, to right and to left, moved its claws, and suddenly darted from the wall, flew with a whirring sound about the room, and again settled, again hateful and loathsomely wrinkled all over, without stirring from the spot. In all of us it exceeded a sensation of loathing, dread, even terror. No one of us had ever seen anything like it. We all cried, Drive that monstrous thing away, and waved our handkerchiefs at it from a distance. But no one ventured to go up to it. When the insect began flying, everyone indistinctively moved away. Only one of our party, a pale-faced young man, started us all in amazement. He shrugged his shoulders. He smiled and positively could not convince what had happened to us. And we, we were in such a state of excitement. He himself did not see an insect at all, did not hear the ill-omened roar of its wings. All at once the insect seemed to stare at him, darted off and dropped on his head, stung him on the forehead above the eyes. The young man of fabric groaned and fell dead. The fearful fly flew out at once, only when we guessed what it was had visited us.